Folks, the other day you heard that I would love to start speaking at more and more events, and I am super excited that we already have an event scheduled. July 20th, less than three short weeks away, I will be speaking in Mountain View, California. This is actually a location that is walking distance from my home, so it is an easy yes answer for me. We have the one and only Nitin going to host it. How you doing, buddy? Doing very well, Michael. How are you? I'm doing great, man. So July 20th. July 20th, you know, it's day, 17 yeah. days away, right? So right. Uh, what, what what are we going to be doing with folks? What, what are we doing? You know, we, we do this meetup once every month and we invite experts to speak every month. And last month, it was my turn to speak on new construction. Uh, we did one uh, uh, you know interview with you on that. And this month, it's going to be you speaking. Uh, we expecting a lot of folks. You spoke uh, last year also. I, if I remember, it was in October of 2022. We had a packed room at that time. People loved the event. I got a great feedback. They started following you on YouTube. Yeah, uh, that was the kind of feedback I was getting from everybody. And um, this time again, uh, you know, July 20th, you are going to speak again. You tell me, uh, Michael, what what are the topics you will cover? Um, rental is a very hot topic in the market, you know, with the flip and uh, new construction going through its own phases. You know, we we had a downside last year. Now the market has again picked up very well, you know, new construction and rent and flips are doing very well. But rental's been pretty stable and long-term kind of thing. Tell us, tell us what are you going to cover on that? Yeah, so I think we're going to do the same thing we did last time. Uh, I remember the event. It was a lot of fun. All the one rental at a time fans come out. I don't speak in the Bay Area very often. So again, come to this event in Mountain View. We'll show you the site in a minute. Yeah. Um, but I'm not going to bring any PowerPoint. I will come with a kind of three or four point basic agenda that I will rattle through in 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, and then hopefully it's driven by the audience. The, the kind of questions we got last time. I remember questions about short-term rentals. I remember midterm. I remember... Uh, because again, the market was slowing down. I remember being very negative on new construction and in luxury homes. I remember having that conversation, which caught people by surprise, and we were right. I mean, there were a lot of flippers that got spanked in Q1 uh, because they bought wrong in Q4. Um, it might be different now. It might not. So we can talk about that. Uh, certainly going to talk about housing in the second half. Mm -hmm. Uh, like we learned last time, Q4, specifically November, December is typically very slow. Uh, so we'll talk about real estate in the second half. Uh, we'll talk about interest rates, I'm sure, uh, because interest rates are a big part of what we're going through. Will they drift higher? Will they stay at seven? Will they go to six? I think that's a wonderful conversation. Uh, yeah. We can talk about California. I think most of the audience will know that uh, you know Olivia and I will, will be leaving California after 50 years. Mm. Uh, we're going, to, we're, we're moving to Vegas. Um, you know, so there's probably lots of questions about that. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always there for the audience. Uh, I'm, I'm, I will hopefully never do a PowerPoint slide again in my life. That is a goal that I have, mm -hmm. uh, but we'll, we'll see how I do. Cause sometimes you just have to do PowerPoint for some meeting. So, uh, right. that's what I'm thinking about doing, but, but it's your event. You know, your people, you tell me what they want to hear and I'll, I'll be ready. You know, I think I think at this stage, people are very interested in listening about rental, especially your strategy of doing one rental at a time, uh, doing, you know, building that portfolio over a period of time. I remember when I started in this business way back in 2012, I started with buying, fixing and renting out in Florida. I'm still holding a couple of those properties, mm. probably have been my best investments I've ever done. You know, I bought them in 2012 and 13. Nice. And uh, the market has really appreciated there in Florida, continues to appreciate even today, you know, very hot destination for uh, people migrating uh, to different state. Um, so so for from an audience perspective, I think it's a perfect topic to for, for folks who are looking to build a long term wealth, long term portfolio yeah. of rental, how they do it, how they do it one at a time, you know, not just buying in bulk, but one at a time. Um, and I would like to show the audience where the event yeah. is, what date it is. I can share my screen here. Yeah. So folks, you can go to Meetup uh, and check this out. Yeah. This is the this is the event, and uh, uh, the whole thing is that uh, you know once I publish it, anybody who is a member of our Meetup, which is San Jose, this one, San Jose, 
real estate networking group. And anybody who's a member of this should get an automated reminders. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I'm going to publish it today. I just have to click this button now. Um, but this is the event, July 20th, um, 6.30 p.m. is when you start. You know, we we, we do have some initial sure. initial networking and uh, initial, you know, uh, presentation from our side. Me, Vicky, and Sid will do some basic coverage there. And then, you know, you take over for whatever time, uh, you know, you interact with the audience there. Uh, a loft hotel mountain view we always do it there and we continue to do it we have been doing it there for almost like three four years four years now and uh, that's the same location a loft hotel so you know everybody welcome but to, not i should not say everybody welcome uh, you are welcome but the capacity of the room is limited to about i think 50 or 60 at most last time when you spoke michael it was a packed room uh yeah. almost like i don't know so we, we, we had to find some more chairs to make people see uh, sit so Register yeah. for the event as soon as possible. There's a ten dollar entry fees also that you pay when you come to the event. Yeah, um, you got to got to pay for the room. Yeah, ten right, bucks. Exactly. Way. Ho hopefully, I provide a lot more value than ten bucks. Right. But yeah, I would hope there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of one rental at a time fans in the Bay Area. A lot of tech workers. It's obviously my background. We could talk about hey, what would you do today if you're starting? Uh, we could talk out of state. I remember there's a bunch of talk about syndication two years ago. I was like, dude, be careful. You're going to get hurt. Um, you know, I, I, I generally have this rule of thumb. If you ask me a question, I'm going to do my best to answer it, but I can't promise you'll like the answer right there. I remember last time somebody coming up to me and asking about Airbnb, specifically short-term rentals. And I'm like, I don't like it. I think it's in a world of hurt. And clearly I hurt their feelings because they had built a portfolio of 10 to 12 properties. Uh, certainly not my intention ever to hurt someone's feeling, but again, I, 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 you know, I, I owe the audience my honest thoughts and, and, um, and also I admit to being wrong. I mean, that's a, that's the beauty that I think one rental at a time is, is I take a shot, I make calls and I also admit when I'm wrong, there's not a lot of gurus or experts out there that have the balls to admit that when they're wrong. For example, Nitin here recently, I made a call that Q2 was going to be the start of a recession. I called that, uh, the first Monday after SVB blew up. And I was looking pretty good for a month, maybe six weeks. And then the numbers just got away from me. So I admitted, I think last week that I was wrong. There's not a lot of people that will admit they're wrong. And I, I don't know why. I mean, we're all wrong. Wrong is an opportunity to learn. Exactly. But, you know, there's this YouTube world, this, this, this real estate, you know, investing world, you're never going to be a hundred percent. So admit you're wrong, acknowledge it and move on. So again, when I give you my thoughts in that example about short-term rentals, who knows? You know, I have I have a weekly millionaire who comes on on a Kelly who's crushing it in in short term rentals. But um, yeah, so again, I love questions. I love interactions. That that will hopefully be most of the event. Mm -hmm. Um, and don't and feel free to push back if you don't like something I say. Tell me. Yeah, I have I I I have no problem with debate. Absolutely. Uh, I, you know, I, when, uh, when I had my event last week, there were so many questions. The event almost ran. Two and a half hours. You know, we were planning wow. to make it one and a half hour with 30 minutes of last question ran more than two and a half hour. And, you know, uh, we That's were great. almost at 10 p.m., you know, when it ended. Ooh. There was a lot of interaction, you know, and I, I do like that, you know, and coming back on your point on recession, I think everybody got it wrong. You know, I was listening to Fannie Mae chief economist, uh, Doug Duncan, uh, mm. about a couple of months back here in Bay Area. He was speaking and he said Fannie Mae's firm that we'll have a recession in Q3. We are already in Q3 now. Yeah. And there's look no good. Of <laughs> yeah, everything is looking so damn good right now. You know, it's yeah. been looking good all year. This whole year, everything, not just stock market, the real estate has looked incredibly good. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, you know, actually, it's a good thing that there's no recession. It's a good thing that everybody went wrong there. Um, you know, recessions are never a pleasant thing to have. All right. So, yeah, so. on that front, though, I mean, we got to acknowledge that recessions are a part of the normal business cycle. We will undoubtedly eventually have another recession. Right. Um, I will tell folks I look forward to them as crass as that sounds, because it's a, it's the time I can buy assets on the cheap. Right. Exactly. Um, so but you've got to be prepared. A lot of people don't realize that you've got to prepare for a recession. Right. Raise capital, learn the market, grow your network. You know, we could have that kind of discussion at this event on July 20th. It'd be a lot of fun. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, folks, July 20th is the day, 6.30 p.m. 
around 6 to 6 30 pm is when we start the networking and registration the event basically starts around 7 pm you know after me vicky and said do some initial okay. introduction and market updates inventory update and then you know it's going to be all michael zuber there um <laughs> yeah. taking over well, well do me a favor folks leave me a comment below i want to know how many people are coming leave comments below i want to know if you're a one retail at a time fan will i see you july 20th also bring your books I'll autograph them. Bring your cards. If you got any of these cards mailed to you uh, over the years, these black cards or gold cards, I'll sign them. Uh, let's have some fun. Let's take some selfies. Uh, Linton, thank you very much for the opportunity. I appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you again on July 20th. Perfect. Thank you, Michael. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.